What's up, y'all? Welcome to Meat Bill. <laughs> All right, so I popped in to do a quick unboxing because in a previous video, I told you guys that I was waiting on, I think it was my haul, my haul video from um, Fashion Nova in Goose Creek. I told you guys that I was waiting on my package to come in from Michael Kors. Um, I ordered a bag and a pair of shoes from them um, during the Memorial Day holiday. They had a sale going, so the package is here, and I decided to do to do my um, unboxing on camera. So I have not. I don't know what none of this stuff look like. I'm, it's a big box too. I'm hoping that I like my bag and my shoes. I ordered a pair of sneakers, a pair of sneakers and a bag. Okay, I'm already seeing that the bag is a little bit smaller than what I expected, but it's no, actually it's not. It's actually, I don't know. I'm thinking it's probably a little bit bigger than I expected, but either way. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I hope I'm in love with it. I don't know if I should open the bag first or the shoes. I'm nervous about the shoes because the shoes have a um like a chunky heel to them, and that's usually not my thing when it comes to sneakers. But I saw these and I thought they were so cute. So I'm nervous. I am nervous. All right, y'all. I don't know why I'm calling this an unboxing and I'm not showing y'all the box. This is, I don't typically do unboxing. So, this is the Michael Kors box. This shoe is called the Muse Trainer. So, let me go ahead and take the lid off. I'm so nervous. I hope I, oh, 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 okay, 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 oh, okay, okay, oh, I love them, oh, M to the G. I wish I had, I, I didn't turn my ring light on because I'm wearing my glasses and they have a, um, it's a crazy reflection, um, that comes through my, oh my God, I love these shoes. Ah, they're so freaking cute. They are even cuter in person. And the heel is not, I mean the sole, I said a chunky heel. The sole is not as thick as I thought it would be, but I am in love with these shoes. So if y'all don't know, green is one of my favorite co colors. Every shade of green, but particularly, particularly <laughs> hunter green or army green is like, oh my God, like olive green. That's one of my favorite shades of green, but I like all shades of green. Y'all see my nails got green on them too. Look at the details on this shoe. You got the little gold. Oh my freaking gosh. I am in love. I'm in love. It look big though. I hope they don't make my feet look humongous. I wear a size seven and a half, y'all, so. I be feeling like, and I have small ankles. So sometimes with sneakers, I be feeling like my feet look like I got on clown shoes. These shoes are so freaking cute, y'all. Oh my God. Uh-uh, I feel like I need to turn the light on. I see these a little bit better now. I really don't want to turn the, turn on the ring light. These shoes are so doggone cute. I'm not a Michael Kors person at all. I just purchased these shoes because my mom gave me a Michael Kors bag. Oh, yes. These are cute, y'all. I'm in love with them. Look at the details. So you got the signature. Yeah, I, I just... 
me see if I can show y'all the bag. My mom gave me this Michael Kors bag. It's freaking huge. I'm trying to get into small bags now because big bags like drive me crazy. Now I feel like it's just an excuse to put more and more stuff in a bag. But this is the bag that my mom got me. Sorry for that shadow. That's another reason why I had that light off because it's shadow. But this is a bag that my mom got gave me. She didn't get it for me. She gave it to me. Um, it was brand new. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though it's a different shade of green, I would still rock these shoes with this bag. That's not why I brought the shoes, though. I'm just, I just brought up the, the fact that she gave me this bag because I never had, I wasn't a Michael Kors person. Like, I wasn't really, I'm a coach girl. Like, coach, is, coach has been, like, my favorite line for years. Um... When you talking like the more affordable, um, when you speaking on the more affordable designer brands, Coach was the one that I preferred. So yeah, I don't, I've been talking for seven minutes. All right, so now we are going to unveil the bag. This bag is called, I think it was called Lydia. Or Linda. Let me see. So the shoes are called the Muse um, M M U S E Muse Mixed Media Trainer. That's the name of the shoes. Muse Mixed Media Trainer. And then the bag is called Lita, not Lydia. Lita. L I T A. Medium two tone logo cross body. Cross body. So we're gonna take. It out of this plastic and we are going to find Ooh. it's cute let me show y'all the best part about it oh what the heck oh the best Part about it is the sage green. I told y'all green is green is like it's my fave. It's funny too because green just became my favorite color like in the past year or so. So yeah, I told y'all I'm trying to get into smaller bags because I be carrying all types of stuff. I feel like big bags are just an excuse to carry. A whole lot of stuff and they were necessary when my kids were smaller but my oldest is about to be 12 in a couple of days and my youngest is nine so I don't have a need to have like I used to carry big purses because I didn't like to carry like baby bags and they will always have me um holding on to their little toys and stuff like that so as opposed to me carrying baby bags, I would just put if we was going, you know what I'm saying? Depending on where we go where we were going and how much stuff I needed. I would just I'm sorry, I'm trying to get all of this, get the wrapping off of the bag so you can see the hardware. But yeah, depending on where we were going, if it was somewhere where it didn't require me taking a whole lot of stuff, I would just throw a few diapers and wipes in my purse and call it a day and that way I ain't have to carry a whole bunch of stuff with me a whole bunch of different bags so over the years I collected so many like big bags Ooh, big. I did not know this how the oh my god I am in love all right this look at how this bag opens that's cute. Let me get the strap out. That sounds funny. Okay. So this is one of the straps that goes to the bag. I keep thinking about 50 cents. Get the strap. Get the strap. 
All right. Is that 50 who used to say that? I think that was 50. That was like his thing a few years back. He used to say that all the time. So, this is... So, you got the sage green strap. And remember, guys, this is a crossbody. I'm wondering if it has more than one strap to it. I feel like it has this one, and it also has a gold metal strap as well. But don't start me the line. I don't know that to be true. Let me make sure. What? I feel like they put a lot of unnecessary wrapping on here. Why did that part need to be wrapped? All right. I'm just removing all of the stuffing out of the bag. What is this? Feels like this. Okay, so this is the bag, guys. Cute little MK. I don't know where the strap's supposed to go. Am I supposed to hook them on here? That would be, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I guess so. So, okay. Sorry, I'm not. I gotta get better at doing unboxing <laughs> videos. So the strap goes here, right on this ring. That's the only other place. I mean, that's the only place I see for it. So, it, oh my gosh, I am gagging. What? 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 Oh, what? With my little shoes on? Oh, what? It's not a perfect match, but that is why I like it. Yes. Oh, come through with the set, baby. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> I'm digging this, for real. All right, y'all, so... Here is my Lita crossbody from Michael Kors. You see her? You see her? I think that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, because that's how they had it displayed on the on the whatchamacallit. So y'all know a lot of bags are coming out now with the um the gold chain across it. So I think that's how it's supposed to go since it's a crossbody. But I think it's adorable that they put it there because you can I would carry it like this too. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's adorable that they put it like at the top. They draped it from the top so that you can use it as a um use that as a handle too. At least I I don't know if they did that on purpose or not, but if they didn't I still think that that's dope. Because that's how I would use it. Oh, my freaking. Let me show y'all one more time. Baby. Oh, I don't want to show that one because it got. When I tell y'all, I cannot wait to style these pieces. I can't wait to style this. <laughs> can't wait to style it. I'm going to make sure I show y'all how I style it too. All right. So, I've been talking for 15 minutes about this same bag. In these shoes, I'm probably going to do a lot of editing to cut this video down some. But that's all. I just wanted to come in and show y'all my stuff. And I'm so happy that I got to share the experience of unboxing my things with you guys. So, until the next video. And this is definitely, this goes along with my um, fly and feminine challenge. I think this qualifies as both fly and feminine. Um, yep, this qualifies as both fly and feminine. So, I don't remember what day we on, but <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be posted. And y'all saw it in the description. It's probably day 10 through something. All right, love y'all. Deuces.